Hi guys, this is Professor Suresh Kumar for Titan Zone. Today we are going to see about how to configure CloudSim using Eclipse IDE. Before getting, getting into the installation, we must make sure that your system is installed with Java. If you are not installed with Java, try to download it from its site. So just google it, java free download, then you will be having these search results. Go for the first one, it's java download for operating system. You click it, it will redirect you towards this download page, you can see here. So if you have, well, what kind of OS that you are having? choose according to that so you can see windows mac linux everything so after installing it we can move towards our cloud sim okay so after installing java we can move towards cloud sim so just google it as cloud sim 3.0.3 and you will be having this kind of a search results so choose the first one just click the link, you will be forwarded towards the download page. So you can see lot of versions, CloudSim 5.0, CloudSim 4.0 and there we are, CloudSim 3.0.3. So it is purely depend upon your usage, there is no necessity that you should only choose 3.0.3 it's purely depend upon your usage and your project. So I'm just clicking CloudSim 3.0. It will be directing towards my download page again. So here, here it is. You can see the download package. So I'm going to choose CloudSim 3.0.3 is zip. This one. So I'm not going to download it again because I already downloaded it and I just uh, stored in my drive so you have to just click the link then it will be start downloading so so you can see it here I already downloaded it and then extracted the file towards my drive CloudSim 3.0.3 so after downloading uh, CloudSim move towards Eclipse so google it just like this Eclipse 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 IDE for Java developers, you can see it here, so press the first link and it will be redirected towards the Eclipse IDE download page. So you can see a variety of download links. That is Windows 32 bit, Windows 64, Mac, Linux. So, uh, depend upon your OS, you can choose which one is perfect for you. So, mine is Windows 32 bit, so I am clicking the first one. So, as I said before, I already downloaded it because I don't want to waste the time. So, I already downloaded it, you can see it here. And, I'm, and I extracted the file in my drive. So, after that, last but not least, we have to download another one which is called as common Mac. Just Google it. It's a Mac utility function which has to be manually installed. So I'm just click it. So in the left top, you can see downloads. Just press it, and you will be directed towards this page. So we have to download this file. This, this, this file or no, you have to download it. So that also I downloaded it. You can see yeah, the jar file. I extracted the jar file outside the folder. So so you have to um, extract the file from the folder, the particular file, jar file, outside the folder so that you won't be get confused. Okay, so that's it. We are, our pre requests are all done. Now we can go for them. Um, configuration process so you have to keep in mind that uh, you have to choose uh, 
that's where you have to download cloud sim and then common man and then eclipse so these three things has to be uh, downloaded before getting into the configuration so let us move towards the configuration right now go for the eclipse so you can see the application exe just double click it it will start and it will ask for the workspace name just give it as it is because i don't want to name it specifically so press ok now it will open so this is the first time screen if you are a first timer then you definitely you will see the screen now we have to go for file new then open java project so you will be having this screen on your pc or laptop now we have to name it i'm naming as cloud setup sample one okay so the second don't use this link just uncheck the use default location before pressing the browse button make sure and you remember where you have extracted the cloud sim folder so i have kept my folder in e drive so browse it you can see that in volume e i am having cloud sim so if i press that you can see all these files settings have been dot so you have to remember where the where you have extracted the cloud sim file so just press okay it's just done so i don't want to give finish because i have to do another work go for next then you can see the libraries so here add external jars add external jars then we have to add the common map jar file just give open that's it you can see here our common map jar file is included now give finish that's it but if you open it you can see all your files here the one more thing you have to do if you are a first timer you have to do another work that is right click on your project file properties then you will have this screen go for java compiler you can see here in java compiler you can see here the enable project specific setting is not checked check it check it then go for the compiler compilance level choose the maximum 1.7 okay so that you won't get any uh, error during your compilation apply yes and then press okay building you can see it here you can see it here so is rebuilding so it will take some time not much but it will take some uh, it will take some time depend upon the your the system it will take and we can see that so it is done so now go and choose your first example double click it that's it so your code is on the right screen so now we can go for the compilation you can see a little button here run press it and that's it so work is done your first cloud program is being successfully executed and you can see the status and you can see all the things here so how it is done so this is how you you, you have to run your cloud project in eclipse oh, so that's all about cloud configuration in cloud sim using eclipse ide thank you for watching thank you